my name is Ralph Norman. Welcome back to Alan Wake. We are over uh, Thor and Odin's farmhouse. At least I think that's what that is. Uh, their farm there. Uh, and Barry just ran inside like the crazy duty is. Uh, and we're trying to get down. I don't have a flashlight or a gun, which is awesome. No. Bad juju bees. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Hi. Hi. Ow. Ah. Huh. Huh. Ha. Who. Ha. Huh. No. I see a. I see a manuscript page back here. Get. Out of my way! I want the manuscript page! Ugh. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Walter at the Anderson Farm. When he stopped the car at the Anderson Farm. Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Hmm. Interesting. It's alright. It's fine. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. Stop it. Ah. What's? Gosh, I'm so slow. Cause Mr. Wake. Give me out. G g give me the thermos. Ah. Ah. It's fine. It's fine. Let's run. Oh my gosh, Alan, come on! This is... Come on, let me through! How am I supposed to get through all that? Huh. I'm... Ow! What the? Oh, come on! I managed to squeeze through that little gap. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, let me through! Okay, okay. Okay. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Okay, so there's that. Now, where are you? Wanna zoom up here? It looks like it. It's another manuscript page. Nightingale arrests Wake. Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Why does he want to kill Wake so badly? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Here we go. Ah! Okay. That works. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without oh, a, was a flashlight. But I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. No kidding. 
Hop on down. Gosh darn it! What the heck? Oh my gosh! Uh, what is going on? Nothing was working. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous. I, I couldn't I dodge. Chance. I couldn't move. He just stood there until he died. I had to skip me getting to this point because it one it took me forever and two I was so angry. By the time I got, I actually got here. That I that the only thing that was coming out of my mouth was expletives, because that what who the creators of this game, what they did with this section on normal difficulty, not even hard on normal difficulty, was freaking ridiculous. You don't have any weapons. You have I I I, I have two sets of batteries, so I could recharge my flashlight twice but it doesn't do anything to him you can't kill him and then they put that generator up there the generator does turn on another light i went back after making it here to find out what that generator did it turns on a light no weapons so like now there's a safety zone up there for no reason because you can't turn you can't turn on that generator while you're being chased by those guys it's stupid. It, it, this this section was the stupidest section in a video game I have ever played. And I've played Getting Over with Bennett Foddy, I Am Bread, and I Am Fish, and all those rage games. Pogo Stuck. This is the stupidest section from a video game that I have ever seen. Specifically because this game is not meant to make you angry. This game is meant for you to enjoy the story and have some spooks and stuff. This section was stupid. I'm done with my tirade now. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Maybe. Heavy duty flashlight, I'll take that. More batteries. A thermos, but still no weapons. All right, well, let's just keep going, I guess. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Uh huh. What the? Why the light? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Huh. Interesting. The page, the dark presence at large. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Hmm. That, that, got turned around. Players, those will be helpful. Can I... Can I... Nope. Okay. Those are all bear traps. Whoa! Oh, 
Oh, that was a bear trap. Okay. Come on, there we go. Okay. Get, give me the manuscript page. Jeez, looks like the controls just don't want to work right now. The patients escaped the lodge. As the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return, the darkness around them seethed with horrors. But Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Oh! Okay, so they've... Fought. Okay, interesting. Shotgun, Someone I'll take it. The gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The Taken are filled with darkness. Yes, yes, we are aware of that. Finally got me a shoddy. Don't see anything. There's another bear trap. More bear traps. Ow! Jerk. Come on! I think this way is where I need to go. Dang gummit! Ow! Why can't I move? Okay, come on. This is such crap. I'm dodging and it's not doing anything. Oh. My. God. Come on. Freaking kid me. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Gosh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Hello? Anybody here? Batteries. Ah! Barry. Danny. What are you? What is? No, no, I'm sorry. What the heck was that? Danny? Danny, boy, the pipes, the pipes are coming. jail the other day i went to the farm again for the moonshine you know no makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it 
They're in the loony bin. <laughs> my ah. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will uh -huh. survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. Okay. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay okay. true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. Okay, that's interesting. Hi. No. Let me guess. Danny, huh? The front door was Bad locked. Danny. At the window. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Manuscript. Hartman considers Mott and Wake. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well... I'm a hop in the truck. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a Ooh. moment, I felt bad for doubting him. Ooh. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry? Hey, there's Barry. a there's a thermos. I think it's safe. My luck would be I'd get I'd get to the thermos, pick it up, and that thing would come alive. What's up here? Actually, what's in here? All kinds of stuff in here. Flashbangs, sweetness. Batteries. Something upstairs. Very heavy breathing. No, it doesn't appear to be anything up here. Okay. Now I want to know what's up there. Nope, this way. What's in here? Gotta make sure I have the most stuff and the best gear before I go anywhere. That might be dangerous. Is that a shotgun or a hunting rifle? That is the hunting rifle. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take the hunting rifle. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. Huh? The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. 
Pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department is still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give them a hand, all right? <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. Pat Main on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. I don't know about safe, but warm. Don't think I'm that either. Something I'm wearing the same clothes as I was wearing when I arrived in this town. Okay, let's, uh, let me buy that gum thing. Oh. All right, let's get down to that farm. We got a nice hunting riffle. Hello, who are you? There we go. That takes care of you. Let's reload. It'd be nice if I would actually, you know, reload instead of put a single bullet in. Alright. Away we go. Looks like a broken water tower. Owie. I broke my truck. Back up. Forward. Ow. Come on. Where am I? Where am I going? Here we go. Whoa. Huh. <laughs> nope. You know what? Well, that car is done. Whoa! Ow! Ow! There we go. There's them. Is there another vehicular around here? I was trying to kill them with the car, but it didn't work. Oh, there's a big truck. Can I drive you? Or are you destroyed by hitting the gate? Are you drivable? No, you got flat tires. Fine! Oh, no. Flare time! Ow! Ow, ow! That's enough out of you! Thank you. Man. The safe space. Checkpoint reached. I could go that way. I have to go that way. Okay. Make sure there's no thermos over there. There's not. Okay. Down we go. Are you out of ammo? No, you're not. You can just... 
I see thermos. Fireworks. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Interesting. Ow! Run! They killed me! There's too many of them! That's cool. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Monson. Shut up and shoot. Ooh, super heavy duty flashy lucky. We have to fight them all. I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. Hey, Al, did you notice this about ammo? This is stuck. Al, hold on. I'll try to get the stage lights on. Yeah, if you get the stage lights on, that would be great. Ow! Ow! Ah! Gosh darn it! Uh, uh. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Go. Ah, oh, stage lights are on. Oh, kind of. Hey! No. Ooh, what shotgun is this? Where are you? There you are. I like the music, though. Back off. Oh, ow! What? I am very low on health. Okay, that works. Are these flares over here? They are flares. Flashbangs. Whoa! Puff! Are you? Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, come on. I dodged one and went right to another one. Thank you, man. Poof! It's a nice big hit. It'd be nice if you get the stage lights on, but you, see, you seem to not be capable of doing that. Ow! Sure you will. Shoot, Dag Nabbit. Give me. Okay, you didn't give me what I wanted. What? Ah. I fell down. Didn't mean to fall down. Give 
me that. Ow, what the? There we go. There we go. Oh man, that was not fun. Why did that go boom? Manuscript page. Mulligan questions Nightingale's orders. Tune Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people. And a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Yeah, I'm curious what I supposedly did too. I mean, it's getting kind of ridiculous how badly he wants to kill me. All right, Barry, I can appreciate you, uh... ...hiding in the light that entire time. But that was kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! Yeah, sure. It's rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! I'll look around a little bit first. That's weird. There was this building back here. What's in this building? Anything new? No. What's what's in the building? Why can't I go back to the building? I want to go back to the building. I missed an opportunity. Well, what's in this building? Is there an in this building? Maybe. No. There's not an in that building. Let's see. I mean, there's an unexploded firework. Okay. 
guess we'll head to the farm now. Let's go, Bear Bear. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. Why? Once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Why? Just why? I see something! Something white! It's a manuscript page! As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete, a collection of random pages, but there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hand shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. You're... You're something special there, Nightingale. I guess I'm going up. Bear Bear, what are you doing? No! I fell. Okay, I guess maybe that's not the way to go. How do I get in? Bear Bear, where's the door? Is that the way in? Maybe that is the way in. I see sparking power. Let's try this again. Oh, made it. Okay. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll solve all day long. I'm always inventing. Moody. It makes me very Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Yeah. Down. That hurt a little bit. Open se uh, says me. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Wow! Look at I all this stuff. Don't call it crap. It's they cool. Themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Sleep. We all spend uh -oh, most of our night dreams spring. in soft embrace. Somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and Hey, you remember when I got uh -huh. that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? Well, that doesn't work. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape. Only to be brought to Mr. Jones? Pick up the thermos. Ugh. It's being a pain in the butt. Oh, manuscript page. There we go. Yeah, his brother's in the 70s. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the heaviest ingredient of their moonshine Ugh, is unfiltered ow. water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. 
Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Weirdos. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Huh. Could you use it like a battering ram? The Old Gods of Asgard, the 1975 Ragnarok Tour. Be awed by celestial wrath and fury. Seattle, Bakersfield, Long Beach, New York City, Newark, Detroit, Jacksonville, Tampa, New Orleans, Baton Rouge. Hope so I push the right buttons. I don't see anything else, so let's just boot that stuff out of the way and use. There we go. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Whoa, hey. Where'd the last one go? There you are. No. Bear Bear. Where'd you go, Bear Bear? Hi. I was wondering where you went. Take those, thank you. Miss me. Jeez. Jumping lunch. Electricity. Where's he at? There he is. There we go. There's that guy. Big old pain in the butt. Nothing there. I don't think there was anything else over here. No. Behind here, real quick. Ha ha. Oh, oh. That's the knife. Using the environment to my advantage is always a good thing. I didn't realize that the electricity would kill them instantly. Gosh darn it. There we go. Would not go away. Dad gum truck. What was the point of coming through here? I'm 
Oh, there you are. You going in? Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, yeah. Out here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Okay, you do that. Open the silo door for Barry? What if I don't want to open the silo door for Barry? Be careful, Al! Oh, shotgun shells. More shotgun shells. Um. Whoa! Hey, now! Fine. Keep your eyes open, okay? He took a swing at me, but he missed. All right, up, see Daisy. I hear a radio somewhere. Is it further up? Show sure enough. It's up here. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of heavy duty lantern scheduled to join me okay. here in the studio. Boys, Ugh. how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. Yeah. Boop. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Yeah. That they did. They have all kinds of stuff, actually. Everything but the batteries. We're all good. Whoa! Got to be kidding me. Not good. Chihuahua! Whoa! 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 Gotcha! Ow! Ow! What? What killed me? What killed me? Because I destroyed the thing? Oh, come on! I killed the freaking thing and Still died. Got to be kidding me. Do I have any? I do not. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Not cool! Got it. There we go. Okay.
Back off. Get that stuff. Barry. Bear bear. Care bear. Silo keys. Uh, hello? Oh. Open you. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Nope. Yeah, it's me. Hey, let's go, man. Wasn't me. Come on. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Ah! Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. You we're think? Almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right yes. True. Oh, that's the ranger station I went to. Same thing as last time. Right, one more gate. Let's do this thing. Why is the chainsaw stuck in the tree? Old gods know the truth. Uh-huh. Uh, in? Guess we better check the fuse box. Of course the lights are out. Why would the lights be on? Ooh, examine. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. The power downstairs was out. Are you kidding me? Sure it doesn't require power! It's a freaking portable record player. Well, somebody ripped the, the door off the fridge. G give me the coffee thermos. Thank you. Fireworks. Where is the fuse box? Coffee thermos? That's a s two coffee thermoses in a single house. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. Yeah. I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. Wait, wait, yeah. ma ma manuscript page. Sound awesome. I mean, yeah, they kind of are. The mystery of the Again, missing week? Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Was it? Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? Okay, working on it. There we go. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Okay. find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, no. Barry, this is... Yeah, what the hell? No! That's stupid. Oh, seriously, 
Stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? Yeah, sure. What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those crutes and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Uh huh. Oh, Barry's passed out on the floor. Al's on the couch. Okay. He's not actually asleep, though. Okay. Get to the cabin. Okay. Alice! 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 I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out of body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Alice? I Alice. remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? What? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Interesting. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere, maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Nope, I'm stuck. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. Uh-huh. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Aha! Uh -huh. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. 
Okay. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. Interesting. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my heart a long time ago. She looks so old. and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The well, the spin of the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Well, that explains the accident and everything. Once again, Nightingale shows up with his misguided, delusional stupidity. <laughs> that had some frustrating parts, some extremely difficult parts, some excessively difficult parts, but uh, it was still pretty good. Um. I, th I think we're getting close to figuring out what exactly what's going on and figuring out if Alice is actually still alive or not. Uh, nope. But we're just going to keep on trucking along. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel because it really helps my channel grow. And as always, keep your head up and keep moving forward. This is Rafnum signing off. Bye-bye!